Hello and welcome back everybody. My name is Little Corn Dogs, and in today's video, we are building a tank. So if you guys haven't seen my video with Scrapman, Cosmo, Khan, and Yuzi, we all actually did an epic tank battle on a modded map that was a big maze. So uh, everybody really asked a bunch of questions on how to make a tank, and uh, I'm going to be showing you that today. So let's get started. All right, let's get straight into building. So as you guys know, uh, usually I always start off with a seat, but that is not really the case this time. This time we are going to be doing just a regular body build first, and then we are going to move forward with the entire uh, seat and everything like that later on. So let's go ahead and build just the start of this with the front. Now we're just building up the width here. It's nothing crazy. Um, but we're not going to have anything crazy like tank steering or anything like that. We're just going to have a basic, basic build. Um, but for this, let's go ahead and add these little bumper guards here that go on top of the tank treads. Now, Trailmakers does not have tank treads. Hopefully soon they can add that into another one. But um, if you use a small landing wheel, if you have the airborne expansion, I believe that you can use these. But if not, that's fine. You could always just use a smaller wheel just like this and then move over to the bigger wheels like that so um let's make sure our wheels are going the right way now this one i would like it to just be flipped like this i think it looks more aesthetically pleasing that way <laughs> but um you know what i think that looks fine like that um i'm gonna have suspension in this thing just because it's a must for a tank i mean come on you can't have a tank without any suspension so let's flip this i think i had it the right way there we go like that and we'll scoot these wheels over now you don't really want the wheels touching because uh you know friction <laughs> but it's fine if they do um i think i'm gonna make this just one more large just so they all have a little bit more space here there we go just like that now um moving on to the suspension so Let's go ahead and get just regular, where it is, straight suspension, just like that. And we'll go ahead and flip it right there. So I'm going to move this up to like 1.5 for each. Um, we'll probably need more than that, but that's totally fine. Uh, if so, I mean, it's a tank. It, it, it needs suspension. You know, we got to perfect the suspension part of it. So looking good so far. Let's go ahead and scoot this over like so. Copy and paste that all the way down. Now, what is the width of that one? I think that one's a three right here. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So let's go ahead and copy this and put this on the other side. So we'll just highlight that. Click, drag, and copy. Do a little flip there. Perfect. Looking good. Now, let's make sure all the wheels are going the right way. On this side, they are not. So flip, flip and flip now these guys uh as i was saying they're not really in a good position just because uh they, they're only fixed on one rotation so we're not going to have them powered i think just like that is fine um there's not really a point of them being powered we're not going to be climbing any insane uh mountains or anything like that just standard hills as you see around us like this so um looking good so far though it's looking like a tank you know we're not gonna have anything crazy like i said tank steering is just gonna be regular regular tank it's just a quick little how to showing you guys exactly what to do to make a vehicle that looks like a tank so <laughs> let's go ahead and scoot this all the way down and we will flip it like that now a lot of people always ask why i don't use mirror mode now mirror mode is great i recommend especially new builders using mirror mode but sometimes for me i just have a hard time putting everything together uh like decals and all that stuff kind of flip around on me so it's just a little hard so <laughs> sometimes i like to uh take a break and just build this uh, old-fashioned way so this is looking good like this. I'm going to flip it so it looks a little bit more symmetrical there. And of course, we can copy these guys just like that. So it's definitely looking like a tank. I'm excited for this. So um, for the steering, you can either do a helicopter engine in the center of your build, which is just one of these guys, and you can put it on there. And then you can go here and just do A and D. And that will, you know, force the whole thing to spin around. Um, I think I want something a little bit different. I think I'm just going to do normal kind of steering here. So what we're going to do is actually get these guys and scoot them out. Uh, let's see. Something like that or in, I guess. 
There we go. Perfect. Okay. So now we get some hinges and we're going to go like this all the way down. So it's a whole lot of turning, but you know what? It's fine. It's it's going to it's going to work out. I promise. So this is looking good. Let's go ahead and copy these and put them on this side. There we go. Just like that. So uh, again, these are not connected. So we're going to have to scoot these middle pieces down like so. Perfect. Okay. Now with the turning, um, because we have them in the front and the back and the middle here, we're going to want to make sure that these are all right. So uh, let's add a seat on here just so we can see the controls. So not the seat that we're going with, I guess, for now, but just so we can see the controls. So red is A, so that's good. That one's good. And then these are going to be the opposite. So basically, instead of coding them to specific keys, you could always just flip them so the red is going the other way. And we'll do the same with the back here. So let's see if this is right so a when we click that that should be right it's just these ones that we're gonna have to flip so of course i'm not always right so let's see if this is working yes that looks good that does not look good <laughs> okay so it looks like the front ones and the, so these are just flipped basically so what we'll do is go here settings and we'll go d a and then here we will go uh, D, oh, D, A, let's see if that worked. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. Okay. Now let's put an engine in here because now we have the turning. Let's test out and make sure that everything works. So there we go. Let's just go with about like maybe two dragon engines. I think that that should be fine. Uh, let's flip these guys. Is it going to fit back here? There we go. Yeah, it looks good. We're gonna we're gonna fill this thing up. There we go. Maybe not two. This looks good. It's pretty quick for a tank, to be honest. And the turning's wow, the turning's great actually for a tank. This is a very fast tank. Now, of course, if you want something a little bit more realistic, uh, take out the engines here like I'm doing. But from the looks of it, it's looking pretty decent so far. So let's go ahead and take off the seat because we don't need that anymore. Now that the testing is done, the turning's done, everything is fine. Um, now, a lot of you may be upset that I did not use the standard, uh, I guess, uh, tank kind of steering, you know, with one wheel speeding up and one wheel going backwards. But honestly, it just doesn't drive all that great when I have actual wheels working like a real tank, unfortunately. <laughs> so we're going to keep it to this. Now, um, going forward with the rotating servo, yes, rotating servo, here we're going to flip this guy just so the controls are nice and easy. So, uh, red is going left, so we'll do Q and E, and we're going to do hold position, we're going to do angle 360, and for speed, let's do like 0 0.10. We want it really, really slow. Uh, you don't want it to be anything crazy just because... If you have it really, really fast, it's going to be really hard to aim from afar. You know, something up close is easy to shoot at, but when it's really far away, it's really hard. So um, just a little tip here for those of you guys who want a tank to not have uh, a very easy, breakable rotating part. What we're going to do here is actually pull this in with uh, what's it called? What is that called? What, what am I thinking of? Piston. There we go, with a piston. So, um, something as easy as that is going to completely change the look of your entire, entire build. So, let's go ahead and scoot this in. And we are going to do three. I think three is it. There we go. Cool. Okay. So, we got that. Let's put some bracket pieces on the bottom here. Something like that. There we go. Perfect. So, that's holding that in there. Now, of course, if we were to just put a big flat, you know, piece on here with the whole uh, cannon and everything, they would be connected to these blocks. So what we have to do, as I was saying earlier, is uh, actually add the pistons. So we'll move these down one, and then we will go like, where is it? Oh, and there we go. Just so it's a little bit lower like that. And we're going to add the pistons right here. So we're going to go like that, and we're going to do um, speed 1 is fine, but start position, put it at 0. So because that is at 0, it's going to completely change the entire build. Now, of course, you don't have to do the pistons up here if you don't want to. 
Um, just so that it's probably a little bit smoother, we will flip these um, like that and actually have the uh, rotating servo on top. So it's going to look a little bit goofy. Uh, I know that, so <laughs> bear with me here. But for the meantime, let's fill back in this section here just like that. Perfect. Now let's design the head of where the cannon is going to sit on top of all that good stuff. So um, I really, really like these angled pieces, as I was saying earlier. So we're going to go something like this and we're going to flip it. Uh, you know what? Because these are only two, when I use a small wedge, it's a little bit harder to have good connection points. So we'll go something like that and we're going to go ahead and flip it here. So, oh, there we go. Perfect. Now let's add a three piece, three by one. Perfect. So that looks actually really cool. I already like the front of that. Definitely looking like a tank. So let's try out the three little wedge here and see how that looks. Hopefully it's not too drastic, but I think it's looking okay. So something like that, looking like a tank. Now we'll go back down here to the three slanted piece, just like that. Um, now, of course, we're probably going to have a cannon here, so I'll leave that as it is. But the rest of this, I am very excited for. So, scoot it back. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Look at this thing. It's already looking sweet, man. Okay, so I think I'm going to copy these and bring them on up. Something like that. Perfect. Look at that. That's definitely looking like a tank, man. I mean, a little bit of a futuristic tank, but who doesn't like a futuristic looking tank? I mean, come on. So, very cool, looking good. Now we are going to need a slanted 3x4. There we go. And we'll go ahead and flip these like so. Now, I think I'm going to back it up to the original piece here. And then we're going to flip it. Let's see if I can actually connect this small wedge piece here. I'm thinking, I know it's going to be a little bit bigger and it's going to look a little bit different, but I kind of just like the look of you know it going back to a small piece so let's try and scoot these in like that that's looking good and then we will go where's that small slanted piece something like that there we go cool so we got that and then we're gonna get to this two wedge and then we will put two little one by twos inside so that's looking pretty cool man I'm liking the look of this very futuristic looking there we go, and let's add the tank head on this thing. So, um, with these pistons, now that I think about it, if we put them at zero, this whole thing is just going to be scraping like crazy. So, the best thing to do with these is actually, instead of putting it straight at zero, put it like 0 0.15, maybe 0 0.10. Uh, let's start with 15, and then we'll find out how that goes later but um moving on to the cannon we'll go ahead and go for rounded bits here something like that there we go that's looking good man i'm liking the look of this already so i'm thinking let's scoot this in yeah 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 this is good this is good i'm liking the look of this here we go okay so as you can see here i know it's a three piece but this is actually looking really really cool so there we go. I think with this, I'm just going to take that off just so it's symmetrical because it was a three versus a two. But from the looks of it, I think it's fine. <laughs> we'll find out um, later on. But it's looking fine to me. So, um, of course, you can do however long you want for this front cannon here. I don't like it to be extremely long just because, you know, if you or turning and trying to go through confined spaces, just like in that video that I did with UZ and Scrapman and all them. Uh, it was it was really hard to maneuver through places. So this is just a standard cannon on the front of this guy. So actually, let's put a seat in here really quick. Um, let's put the seat here on the bottom, something like that. There we go. So um, we can turn the head like this, and then there we go. We can shoot. So this is looking sweet, man. This definitely looks futuristic. Um, I do like how the head of the whole top of the tank piece is actually very flush. But of course, let's gotta gotta get as low as we possibly can. So let's go like 0 0.1. Let's see. Is it gonna 
Okay, so it's not too bad, actually. I thought it would be, like, sparking, but it's actually not bad at all. So, um, let's test out the suspension. Let's go ahead and go over some hills. Um, I like how low this top piece is because it's very stealth looking, but I think I want it just a little bit taller. So, I'm going to make it a little bit taller. Let's go ahead and get some slanted pieces here. Let's do the three. Oh, never mind. Whoops. I gotta do the uh, little 90 degree angle here, just like that. And there we go. Perfect. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and scoot this down. I'm wondering if I can fit this small piece in here, but you know what? We're gonna add some guns. So I'll leave that space empty just for that one reason there. That looks good with me. Let's go ahead and scoot this down. Perfect. Okay. This is looking good. I'm very excited for this. Very, very excited for this. There we go. And let's do another one right here. Perfect. Okay, cool. So, um, as I was saying earlier with little mini guns here, where are the little mini guns? Let's see. Let's see. These guys right here. I think it would be really cool to try and fit this right here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, so with these guys, we are going to do shift and we'll toggle that. Now, to have like a independent, constant, uh, what's the word for this that I'm trying to find here? Um, uh, like fluctuating? Probably not the right word. But basically, if we go here and one is at zero and the other one is at zero, they're both going to be shooting at the same time, alternating. That's the word I was looking for. If we put 0.25... When we click shift, they're going to be alternating and shooting. So, uh, yeah, very cool. Uh, that's how you do that. But um, it looks like the pistons actually aren't dragging this thing down too bad with the, uh, even though it's at an extreme angle, but it's looking pretty sweet. Now, of course, oh, that's not good. That is not good. <laughs> um, of course, if you wanted to have this thing on an angle um, so that you can aim up or down or anything like that, you can just add either one of these guys um, in here and just flip it around. Um, I just don't like the aesthetic of that, so I'm going to keep it as it is. But from the looks of it right now, I really love the way that this thing looks. I think it looks super cool. Now, of course, off-road is amazing with this thing. Um, but other than that, I mean, you got yourself a tank here. It's very quick. Um, you, we could probably make it a lot quicker. The suspension's great. Um, of course, the seat is very low to the ground, so if we ever wanted to, we could just... There we go. Uh, no, where is it? Let's scoot this back like that. There we go. Look at how low the seat is now. It's not scraping, so that's perfect. But, yeah, hope you guys did enjoy this video. I know it's super simple. Um, a lot of people complicate things trying to add tank steering and all that kind of stuff into their, into their tanks, but... Um, it really kind of confuses, you know, a lot of new builders. So hopefully this helped a lot of you new builders into trail makers. And uh, go ahead and tag me in any of the tanks that you guys make. I'm super excited to see them. Um, hopefully you guys do these alternating guns. And uh, yeah, if you have any other questions or anything like that, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And uh, I'll try to get back to you. And we'll try and have more recommendations for the next video. Anyways, as always... My name's Little Corn Dogs, and I will see you guys in the next one.